Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a summer glam look. So if you guys are interested in learning this fabulous look for the summertime, keep watching. So I've already prepped my skin with my Forsali Rose Gold Elixir and my Cetaphil. So now I'm going to go in with my Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation and we are going to kind of dab this on with our beauty blender or you could use a regular sponge. So now I'm gonna go in with my Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS. This is one of my favorite concealers. Um, it is smooth and creamy and it does not crease. I absolutely love it. So we're just gonna blend this out with a beauty blender or you can take a sponge or brush to blend this out as well. I'm gonna go in with Makeup Forever Fix Spray just to kind of set everything in place. Then just because I'm a little extra with my highlight, I like to take the Total Cream Cover by Cover Effects in the shade G30 and just kind of go over those highlighted areas just to lighten a bit. This is just an extra step, you do not have to do this. Wearing the NARS concealer by itself is totally fine. I'm just a little over the top with the highlight. <laughs> Now this is a newer product that I'm really excited about. This is by Tyra Beauty and this is her Sculpt in a Stick. I absolutely love this face contour stick. I know it looks a little dark, but it actually gives me more of a shadow um, rather than kind of like that reddish contour look. And uh, when you blend it out and blend it with your foundation, it looks amazing and it looks very natural. So I am such a fan of this stick. I've been using it for about two or three weeks now just to you know play with it and try it out. But it is a great product. I would definitely recommend it for my women of color. So as I told you before, I like to go in and just kind of blend this out with my foundation. So I'm going back in with the Cover FX uh, Liquid Foundation and just kind of blending that out with my Beauty Blender. And as you can see, it just gives me a very nice shadow look instead of giving me that harsh uh, line, which I really, really love. So now we're gonna go in and set this with my Infamous Ket Cosmetics. I love this powder. It's a great setting powder and just kind of mats out my skin and just sets my foundation in place. It's one to definitely have in your kit. So now I'm gonna go in with my Max Spoolie and just kind of groom the brows before we start to fill those in. I actually did not film my brows, but if you guys wanna see a brow tutorial, let me know in the comments and I will do a separate brow tutorial for you guys. So I know I've spoken about this primer before. This is the Lorac Eye Primer. I think it's called Behind the Scenes, but it is absolutely amazing. I use it on myself and my clients, and it's the only thing that really lasts on my oily skin. So there you have it. <laughs> now I'm going to take, uh, this is Laura Mercier's Setting Translucent Powder, and we are going to just bake for a little bit and uh, place that over top of our highlighted areas. So yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking right here, but I was feeling it, honey, yes. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my, the original Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and we're gonna start off in the crease with Havana. I'm using my number 224 blending brush. So now I'm gonna take the shade Espresso, and we are going to build a cut crease, and we're just gonna make it really soft, but very defined at the same time. Um, I'm going right above my natural crease with this. And then we're just gonna take it and kind of blend it with our 224 brush. So this is a product by ColourPop Cosmetics and this is their Super Shocked Cheek. Ooh, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> 
And this is the shade in Wisp, which is a really pretty pearlized gold color. I'm using it as a primer before I go in with the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So the shade that I'm using is the shade Dripping in Gold, which is one of my favorites from the That Glow Glow Kit. I love this shade, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna go in and dust off the loose powder just at the bottom half um, of my face. I'm gonna keep it kind of underneath the eyes, but I just don't want it to appear ashy later. So we're just gonna dust that. Um, now I'm going in with the shade K-Rob by ABH, and we are just going to focus that on kind of the outer corner of the eye, but just deepen our uh, cut crease just a little bit. Now we could very well stop here with the gold, but since this is a nice glam look, we're gonna use a little bit of matte reflex gold. And in the tube, this actually looks like it would be white, but it comes out really sparkly gold. It's such a pretty product, I love it. But I don't get to use it that often, so I'm happy I get to use it today. Yes, come through glitter. <laughs> So next I'm gonna go in with my Stila liquid liner. Guys, this liquid liner is the bomb. I love it, it doesn't fade, it's dark, and it's not shiny, which um, I kinda hate when liquid liners are super over the top shiny. So this one I do love, and they make them in all different types of colors, um, but of course we're using black today to keep it nice and I wouldn't say natural, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> but let me tell you how it was so difficult for me to put this on in this video. Like, liquid liner, I feel like you just gotta focus. And yeah, it was definitely a bit much, but we got it done and we got through. <laughs> So now we're just going to go in and dust off the rest of the Laura Mercier setting powder. And I did go through and just kind of blend out and touch up the eyes a little bit and just do a little contouring with the nose. Now this is one of my staples. I love this liner. This is by MAC Cosmetics and this is their Coal Liner in the shade Teddy, which is a bronzy kind of shimmery brown. It is perfect for daytime, nighttime, any time of the day, but I use it almost every day. <laughs> so next I'm gonna take Feline Eyeliner by MAC and we're just gonna run that through the waterline right at the bottom. So the mascara that I'm using is by MAC and it is their Upward Lash, Upward Black Mascara. I do like this mascara, but I do feel like it runs throughout the day. So I definitely have like this black, it's not really black, but this semi-raccoon look by like after eight hours. But it's all good. I just have to keep an eye on it and keep it touched up. But I do like the way it lengthens my lashes. So the lashes that I'm using are by Lena Lashes. These lashes are the freaking bomb, okay? I love them. So I'm gonna dip back into my ABH contour kit and we are gonna use the shade Nutmeg to softly go over our contoured areas and just to make sure everything is nice and blended. I do actually love this color because it is soft, a little bit softer than the Havana that I used to use, but you can definitely tell um, the difference. It's not as reddish on me, so I like it. It looks very soft. Hey. 
And next I'm gonna take the shade Espresso and we're just going to go right under our cheek line with uh, the NARS contour brush. So using my A23 brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm gonna use that glow, glow kit, <laughs> and use the shades Golden Bronze and Bubbly. Yes, that highlight though. Next I'm gonna use my Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills and just kind of groom through the brows. Now I'm gonna take Benefit's Hula Bronzer and we're just gonna dust this and warm up the skin a little bit so we have that nice summer bronze look. The lip shade that I'm using today is by MAC and it's their Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Mango Mango. But first we have to line the lips and I'm using Have To Have It and this is also by MAC. I love, this is just like the perfect summer matte coral. I am in love with this color. So I actually decided last minute that I wanted to use a blush. So I'm gonna take MAC Peaches and we're just gonna dust that just on the apple of the cheek. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Pearl Eyes Wisp by ColourPop and just extend the inner corners a little bit to give me more of a open eye. So here is our final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was a little long, but I wanted to give you guys a lot since I've been gone for a while. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support and watching this tutorial and my YouTube channel and I can't wait to the next one. See you guys soon. Love you.